Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I got my gimbal G4S delivered to me earlier on, um, so I thought I'd do a quick unboxing video on that. Um, I've never even looked at one, seen one in real life. Uh, I've just been, you know, I was on YouTube sort of a couple of days ago and trying to find something that would that would hold my GoPro, um, you know, more in a more stable sort of manner. And uh, yeah, it seems a lot of people use these gimbals, or they tend to be one of the best out there. Um, so yeah, so we'll we'll get to that shortly. Um, I thought before we before we get to that, um, I'll just run through some of the equipment that I use and equipment that I've got that I don't use. Um, yeah, show show you that really. So uh, first off, in front of me here, we've got a Canon Mark uh, Canon 5D Mark III, um, which is a fantastic sort of semi-pro. Uh, stills um, camera uh, but it also happens to film in HD um, and do a very good job at that as well uh, a lot of a lot of films and stuff use these on set um, you know they produce that good a that good a picture um, I'm a bit of an amateur photographer you know I, I do it as a hobby um, and when it comes to the, the, the film side of this camera uh, the moving film um, it's uh, it's a whole another ball game um, and the amount of options and functions and settings and whatever on this camera you know I'm, unfortunately it's a bit out of my depth um, I should really go on a course and, and learn some of these things but uh, I just don't have the time at the moment so yeah so I've got that I've got a load of lenses and flashes and you know um, soft boxes all sorts I've got spend lots of money on it um, but I, I don't I don't tend to use it too much these days so I should either invest some time into using it more or um, or sell it before it becomes uh, before it becomes you know uh, old and, 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 and worthless um, so yep so there's that out of the way uh, so uh, let's go on to well actually I'm you're filming uh, or I'm being filmed at the moment on I've got a little Canon Ixus uh, 265 little compact um, travel camera which is fantastic um, I mean the, the, the quality on it the stills and stuff are amazing again probably a reason I don't use the, the, the big one so much anymore um, but even then smartphones and stuff you know they're so good so do you need either of these probably not but um, I've got them both um, and I'm using the, the, the Canon today um, for the first time to film this it is dark outside so it's cold sort of down lights in here so probably look quite pale um, but that's probably quite realistic but anyway um, so what I do use uh, GoPro um, I'm a massive GoPro fan uh, I'm a bit of a mountain biker in my spare time as you might know um, these things are super robust uh, weatherproof you know they do everything you can you can literally throw them um, at the ground and, and, and they usually survive fantastic bits of kit um, I've used I've had a couple of generations of them um, up until very recently I had two uh, GoPro Hero 3 Blacks um, which were the best about 18 months ago um, and then the Hero 4 Black uh, came in uh, about a year ago so I was quite late to getting mine uh, which is about probably three months ago or so um, and I've only got the one uh, at the moment um, they weren't cheap but now they're dropping in price because I think the 5 is imminent um, but amazing bits of kit uh, one downside is that the batteries, they do chew through the batteries quite fast, especially when you've got them, this can run at 4K, which is 4 HD um, resolution, which is just, you know, it's unbelievable. Um, I never run it in that because it would take me forever to upload videos and uh, yeah, it's just, it's kind of pointless really um, for, for most of the stuff I do. Um, but if you do, yeah, the battery life is, is, is yeah, it's minuscule. Um, so yeah, so that's the actual GoPro uh, itself. Um, it runs on uh, micro SD, which are tiny, tiny little SD cards. Um, so there's your regular SD, and there's a micro, um, and the, the micro actually plugs into the regular, so that you can put it in things like um, the card reader. Although this, this one's got a micro SD on it, but uh, oh, I can run that in in other cameras, like the one I'm filming on at the moment. Um, so yeah, so the micro SD is in there. It's totally wireless as well, um, it, connecting through your Android phone or your, your iPhone. Um, so yeah, you can link up, there's an app, free app, uh, GoPro app. Um, so you can get almost live P3 
pictures or filming on your phone so you can you can frame everything perfectly it's got there's about a half second delay um, on this very latest uh, for black so it's very handy it's great um, you know when you're using the uh, it goes through Wi-Fi um, but again when the Wi-Fi is turned on on the um, on these GoPros it, it's it's chewing much more battery um, so it's it's best to sort of learn where the frame is on it and then try to turn that off or if you're using it in car or like I do with a lot of mine just turn the Wi-Fi off get the get the shot set up right you know wherever you're mounting the camera then turn the Wi-Fi off and just use the manual on off button at the top there um, so yeah lots of functions on the GoPro but you can look at another you know I'm, I couldn't tell you half of them so look that up if, you, if you're looking at buying one but I can definitely recommend them they're brilliant bits of kit um, this is one of my little boxes GoPro stuff so they all as far as I know they all come with this weatherproof case um, weatherproof waterproof um, it's completely watertight I think you can you can submerge it to about 50 meters um, I've been diving with mine and it was amazing didn't let anything in incredible um, and uh, yeah and somehow manages to let in sound reasonably well as well um, you can't plug obviously anything in externally on once it's in this in this box but uh, but yeah, if you want it to be safe, put it in there. I've had some massive crashes with my other GoPro, my older ones as well, mounted to my helmet, and uh, and I just couldn't believe yeah, the, the case, you know, little scratch on it, and you know, away you go. So they're fantastic. Um, what else have I got? I've got a chest mount. Actually, I should have brought that over. But yeah, it's like a chest harness again that I wear on my bike, or you can use it for various things. I've got helmet mounts. Um, this is for the like stick on. Uh, brackets and there's various different shapes and sizes and hinges um, you know you, you do get a lot of this actually in, in the GoPro kits to start with so uh, um, spare batteries I've got three or four I've got four of the new ones unfortunately four now comes with a different battery so I had about five or six of my old on my threes but I had to sell them with the cameras so they're fantastic, uh, that's, they're fantastic, they're not fantastic the batteries, they're okay but again realistically you're not going to get more than about half an hour of, of battery life even on a low setting which is quite aggravating um, you would think and they're 25 quid each as well so that is the one downside but I suppose all compact or mini little cameras like these that record in such high res are going to use a lot of battery. Um, so yeah uh, a few more adapters in there, you yeah, know iPad adapter for the SD so I can put straight into there but again it would do it wirelessly you can you can even upload film stuff you've filmed or photos you can upload it straight onto your phone wirelessly again uses a lot of battery and can take a take a while depending on the resolution and, and stuff um, so yeah so there's a there's a GoPro um, Karen talking about uh, so yeah and then this is a this is the suction cup uh, suction mount rather uh, so this is I use this for a lot of my in-car stuff, um, a lot of the external stuff, the rear facing, you know, on the bumper of the car, or on, on a part of the body or the boot. Always make sure this is clean and the, the, the surface you're putting on the car is clean. Two reasons: one, um, that yeah, it, it relies on a suction. So if it's not clean, it's not going to suck um, and not going to stay on. Uh, and number two is keep it clean because then you won't scratch the paintwork on your car um, so yeah definitely make sure have a microfiber cloth and some uh, some cleaning fluid or something um, to make sure that's clean now this is a uh, this is what they call the frame I believe um, so if it's if the weather's not horrific I'd like to use this because uh, it's just a lot more simple than the waterproof casing um, and it's very sturdy put it in there like that boom and you can still plug things into this as well um, yeah, which brings me on to my next uh, and latest, uh, well, not latest because I've just got the gimbal, but my my, my mic that I only got what, around Christmas time. Um, it's a Rode, a company called Rode, an Australian company, uh, and this is the Video Micro. Um, and yeah, it was 50 quid. It's a lovely bit of kit, really beautiful mic. Um, comes with this. I need to get an, along the cable so I can run the mic a bit further away. Uh, you need the adapter as well, the GoPro adapter plugs into there and then gives you the, um, the 3.5 jack for the, um, the headphone jack. Um, but yeah, fantastic, lovely little bit of kit and um, also yeah, with the, with the sock on it, um, it's really nice but good value, 50 quid, um, it seems you can't go wrong, it's, uh, the sound quality's definitely improved, little bracket that comes with it. Um, 
Yeah, so this was my gimbal. So this is like a, uh, it's made by GoPro. I don't know what this is actually called, but it's, um, it's you know, it's like a, like a selfie stick, I guess. Dare I say it? Um, so yeah, it sort of extends. Um, and the camera mounts on here, uh, like so. And um, yeah, and so, I've, so that's how I film a lot of my shots. But you can see that, you know, I've got a fairly steady hand, but you know, you're moving around walking and the end of this, uh, it's just, it shakes around, you know, it exaggerates sort of any movement. Um, it's just impossible to hold it dead still all the time. So you get shaky sort of movements and stuff. It's all right for holding it up for stills or for selfies is, it might be might people useful, but also I use this for a lot of my mountain biking shots because you screw this in, and then you have a little mini tripod, which is pretty handy. It's a, you know, it's it's a handy little bit of kit. So you got that um, gives you gives you a little bit of flexibility. So so yeah, I've got I've used that until now, um, but I thought no, I need to get something that's something that's going to be a lot sturdier and uh, give a nice clearer, cleaner shot make people feel a bit less sick when they're watching my videos. Um, so yeah, just put that on there. Right, so yeah, let's uh, let's get on to unboxing the, uh, the gimbal and uh, I think I've covered everything the equipment wise, yeah, that's it really. I've got a nice card reader as well that just stays with the computer. I do all my editing. Oh yeah, so I do my editing, some of it I do through iMovie, um, I think about two Christmases ago, uh, my girlfriend gave me um, Adobe Elements, um, which which is what I do most of the current stuff on. You know, you can see I'm not very good at editing, but um, it's, it's you know, it's editing for dummies, and uh, yeah, it does, does what I need anyway for now, so, um, so yeah, cool. Right, so let's, uh, hmm. let's unbox this uh, gimbal. Alright then guys, uh, here we go, an unboxing video. I didn't think I'd ever do one of these and hopefully I won't do too many more because I think they're pretty sad but I have been known to watch one or two so they might be useful. Anyway, uh, sharp knife, box, sealed as you can see. I haven't opened it yet so let's, uh, let's try not to pack myself. things and there's the box itself wow it's heavy okay first sign of quality for me anyway is weight uh invoice there so yeah i got my it was 240 quid which i think is about the going rate this is through a uk supplier as well uh wex photography who are uh, they're not based far i think they're in yeah they're norwich next day delivery Perfect. Um, I could have got it for about two thirty from China, but you know, really, let's support UK businesses and um, also, yeah, warranty. Just whatever. Like seriously. So there you go. Uh, so here it is. Um, the G4S uh, failed. Sorry, it's, I've been calling it a gimbal. I mean, it is a gimbal, but the actual uh, brand or the, the the manufacturer is a failed tech. F E I Y U Tech. Um, so yeah, but look them up on online. They uh, they tend to be sort of one of the leading leading manufacturers. Um, so there we go. We've got the box uh, compatible with the GoPro GoPro Hero Four and Three Plus and the Hero Three. Um, they do make the Four as well, which is the one that before the S, the G Four, uh, which is very good as well. I've been reading and, and looking at videos on. It's cheaper, um, but uh, personally, yeah, I, I, I wanted the, the latest and greatest bit of equipment. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's open this bad boy up. Have a look. Okay, so yeah, I was I saw it came with a very nice case again. Just put the packaging down there. Um, again, you know, it's, it is nice to have a have a nice little case. Um, yeah, look at that. It's like a carbon effect on there. Um, yeah, really nice, really nice. Uh, Fayutech.com. There you go. Let's open it up. Have a look. Oh yeah. That looks that looks nice. 
Let's just bring the camera over for this. Uh, sorry about the shakiness, but that's soon going to be eliminated. So, uh, as you can see, looks uh, looks really nice. Um, there's that carbon effect. Uh, and then inside, yeah, we've got. No, I've never, like I said, I haven't. <laughs> this is completely alien to me. So, um, I have got no idea, sort of, what to expect or how to put it together. So that's the, the main gubbins. Um, that's where all the action happens. Um, and these are the batteries here. So what else we got? Um, this is quite awkward doing it one handed. I'm gonna put you back over here. That's about right, I think. There you go. Alright, so let's have a look. What else uh, what else we got in here? That's the charging cable, um, some kind of adapter for something, another kind of adapter for something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it together and uh, and turn the camera back on because this could get really boring. <laughs> so I'll speak to you in a minute. Right, here we go. So uh, I've put it together and I've, I've pulled it back apart again because it's very simple and easy so I thought I'd show you on the camera. Um, it comes with two sets of batteries, which is really handy. Apparently it's very good at battery life as well, so, uh, so that's good to know. Um, you've got the cylindrical handle here um, with a little uh, tripod adapter um, on the bottom. Um, so the battery's just going like that, positive up. And the main unit is here. And this just screws into there. Make sure you don't cross thread it, and it's going in nice and straight. Okay, so that's that. Um, then the GoPro, uh, so the GoPro's got a couple of USB ports and the micro SD on one side there. Um, the other side, nothing, just a button. So they, that USB port basically plugs into, plugs into the GoPro. So you just slide it along there, guide it in nicely, and it should just sit very nicely there. Um, then there's just a securing um, brace that goes in there, like so. Click that in, make sure that's secure because you don't want the GoPro coming out. There you go, that's clicked in both ways. Um, now the reason, well one of the reason it, reason it plugs in is, um, one of the reasons it plugs in is uh, you can actually use the gimbal battery power to power the GoPro. You don't need batteries in the GoPro, um, but you know it's advisable to keep them in there to keep all the weighting and stuff um, the same. Uh, and also that way you've got you know double battery power or you've got you, sorry you've got some in reserve um, I've actually got I've ordered an extra battery uh, booster which sits in the end there with another two batteries gives you a bit more handle as well and a carbon extension um, uh, handle which should be coming very soon um, so yeah so that's 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 the gimbal fully assembled with the GoPro in turned off currently um, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to Let's fire this up. So you just all you need to do is, as you can see, it's completely free um, and limp at the moment. There's there's nothing, no friction, nothing holding it. It's just uh, beautiful and, and free. Um, so you press this and it should all come to life. So let's press it once, and boom, there we go. Lovely. So uh, now before we carry on any further, I'm going to. Um, so my GoPro app is there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Hopefully, um, and you. You see, actually, let's put this down there. Um, oh, doesn't like that. <laughs> I wanted to show you. Oh, it will stay there. Rest. There we go. What I wanted to show you is. Uh, so this is the live picture. Hopefully, you can see that. I say live. It's about a half second delay, as you can see. There. Um, right. So I'm going to get the camera going on that, so we can check out the footage afterwards. So yeah, I've turned it on, uh, and it's in what I would call like the panning mode. Uh, so there's a fixed horizon, so the horizon doesn't change at all, no matter what I do, that's staying the same. Um, but I can pan um, right and left. Now that's not a fixed uh, shaft there, that's, there's a um, hinge there with a brushless motor. So even though I'm turning left, it's actually an electronic movement, so it softens everything. So there shouldn't be any shakiness in that. Um, but as you can see, look at that, keeping uh, fixed. And then I can pan it around to look at you guys. 
so you look. Amazing, really. Incredible. Um, and it's you know completely deadly silent. So that's the panning mode. Um, and then uh, then we've got the uh, then we've got the sort of fully fixed mode. So uh, let's let's turn it around to look at my ugly mug. Um, then I press the button again, boom, and now it should be fully fixed on me. So yeah, I, I turn the panning, doesn't pan. Um, lift that up and down, doesn't doesn't move. Doesn't move at all. That's bizarre. Very bizarre. Now you think about how much I'm moving this around, but it doesn't move. So, in order for you then to be able to move the camera, there's a little joystick on the back here, and, uh, and that allows you to pan up and down and around and around. So, yeah, that's um, very cool. Um, and sorry, when it's in that other mode, the panning mode as I call it, um, the joystick does still allow you to pan up and down, but obviously not left and right. Um, but yeah, so there you go, gimbal in action. Um, so hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll be able to get lots of cool footage with this. I'm uh, excited to go and play with it, especially when it's daylight and uh, yeah, we're Go and have a look at some nice cars again at Slades and do some proper reviews and test drives and stuff. Um, yeah, I've got lots of lots of cool things planned. Some some things I can talk about, other things I can't. Um, so you just hold it down for long and it should turn off. There we go. Let's get this turned off as well. Um, yeah, so I've got um, my seven seat, my work car, which uh, I've been meaning to do a review on it, and I am going to do one either tomorrow or definitely over the weekend. Um, so yeah, I'll do a bit of an in-depth review on that. Um, I'm hopefully getting my hands on a new, uh, the new 2016 um, 7 Series as well. Uh, hopefully get one of them for a few days. Um, I'm getting an i3 as well for a day, so got a cool little concept or idea to play with that. We've got slades and a load of cars up there to play with, um, you know, when the weather's nice. Um, yeah, I've got uh, London Fashion Week coming up, which is, uh, I think it kicks off on the 18th of Feb. Um, fingers crossed, but we've got some nice cars lined up for for that. Um, yeah, I've, I've always, uh, there's always been a few nice cars that I've had. Those of you that follow me on Instagram probably saw back in September, I had a really lovely 640D Grand Coupe. Um, and I did a few sort of videos, but unfortunately the sound... Uh, the mounting wasn't right and it was just rattle so I've got quite nice footage but the, the noise you can't hear anything you can't hear the car you can't hear me whatever so so I'll try and get some nice videos of that um, and then going into the summer we've got some uh, really exciting things that are hopefully gonna gonna um, pull through so uh, yeah but anyway cheers guys I hope you haven't fallen asleep in this video it's um, I'm certainly pretty tired <laughs> listening to myself um, it is pretty late it's uh, 11 o'clock and I need to go to bed um, but thanks for watching and thanks for all the support as usual and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon and girls, I always say guys, I mean guys and girls, I just, you know, hey guys, hey, right, see you later. <laughs>